His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the representative of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch and all the east of the Patriarchate of Moscow and all Russia, His Eminence Archbishop Enifon Esikeli at Safriya Palace. His Majesty the King welcomed the kingdom's guest, lauding his efforts in promoting the values of goodness, love and tolerance, wishing him continued success. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is proud of its ancient history in fraternity, coexistence and tolerance between all religions and sects, thanks to the awareness of its people, their adherence to the noble human principles and respect for the other. The meeting also reviewed a number of issues that contribute to spreading the culture of dialogue and religious tolerance among the followers of the heavenly religions, the commitment to moderation and the rejection of extremism. For his part, the Archbishop expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the care that all religions in the Kingdom receive without discrimination in a diverse, loving and harmonious society in which places of worship for various religions are provided. He also hailed the Kingdom's efforts led by His Majesty the King in spreading the values of coexistence, peace, love and human brotherhood among all peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the wedding ceremony of His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa at the Majlis of the late His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa in Rifa'a. The ceremony was attended by senior royal family members and invited guests. His Majesty the King congratulated His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed on the occasion, wishing him a happy married life. The sons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his congratulations and kind sentiments, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and bless him with abundant health and happiness.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace senior royal family members, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, the Chairman of the Shura Council, senior officials, families and royal endurance team members who were honored to greet His Majesty the King.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها السيدات والسادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يشرفنا أن نرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب في هذا اللقاء الطيب وخير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من أثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراة ومثلهم في الإنجيل كزرع أخرج شطأه فآزره فاستغلظ فاستوى على سوقه يعجب الزرع ليغيظ بهم الكفار وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما صدق الله العظيم يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة His Majesty the King then delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa ahlan wa sahlan bil jami' fi rihab hadha al-sarh al-ariq al-lazhi na'taz bi makanata ورمزية الوطنية الرفيعة وبدورها المشهود في رعاية إرث بلادنا الإنساني الذي لا يقدر بثمن ويسرنا في مثل هذه اللقاءات الأخوية أن نعرب عن بالغ تقديرنا واعتزازنا بالإنجازات المتواصلة والمفرحة في كافة الميادين الوطنية والمحافل الدولية والمعبرة عن روح التفاني والإخلاص التي يبدع أبناء وبنات البحرين في تجسيدها وهم يلبون نداء الواجب الوطني ونبارك للبحرين الانتصار التاريخي الكبير الذي سجله الفريق الملكي للقدرة في البطولة الفرنسية الأخيرة بقيادة فارس العالم الابن العزيز سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد الخليفة حفظه الله ونحيي فيه هذه العزيمة الوطنية الصلبة لبلوغ قمم التفوق ونهنئه على التنظيم الاستثنائي في إدارة وتوجيه جهود فرسان البحرين وما نتج عن ذلك من نتائج مشرفة أسعدتنا جميعا وختاما ننتهز هذه الفرصة الطيبة لنشيد بالإدارة المتميزة للانتخابات التكميلية 
بمحافظة المحرق لعضوية مجلس النواب وبإتمام هذه المهمة الوطنية بسلاسة ونجاح تام استعداداً لأعمال دور الانعقاد المقبل للمجلس الوطني والله الموفق لطريق الخير والفلاح والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جهد طيب من الفريق الله يطول عمرك ما نصرته والله طال عمرك الكل بذا الجهد عالي الله يطول عمرك عشان بس نحافظ على هالرايه ذي الله يطول عمرك نعم الحمد لله طال وفي ديره بعيده وارض غير ارضكم نعم حتى لو قريب طال عمرك نعطيه نفس الاداء وان الله وفق بالسبق الله طول عمرك الحمد لله وان الله ما اعطانا السبق الله طال عمرك فبشركم ادائهم بيكون مشرف دائما ان شاء الله ما قصرتوا على العهد ان شاء الله ان شاء الله بالخير ولا غيره والله شباب البحرين مبهج الحمد لله يعني الحقيقه النتائج طيبه انا بس في هالظروف التوجيه المهم ان الناس يتعلم هالشباب على الخير وعلى السلام وعلى الحياه الطيبه والحياه الكريمه وبعدين هم يكونون ما في شك اقوى الناس للدفاع عن ما ورثوا ما نعكس الامور ان الشباب يتعلمون على لا سمح الله العنف والحروب مثل ما نشوف في الدول لا يجب التربيه تكون تربيه خير وسلام وتعايش ومحبه ولا شك اذا اثبتت هذه المبادئ بدافع عن مجتمعها بدافع عن وليس العكس والفروسية والتعارف على الشعوب في كل بلد هذا شيء طيب يعني شباب من البحرين يتعرفون على شباب من أوروبا من أمريكا من أفريقيا من آسيا ويتواصلون وياهم على كل حال مبروكين وقواكم الحمد لله ان شباب نطاع عمرك نهجهم من نهجكم الله يطول عمرك ان شاء الله. Okay. After that the team greeted his majesty who congratulated them and praised their efforts and commitment to honoring Bahrain in various regional Arab and international forums. His majesty wished them continued success in their future endeavors. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Mohammed Hassan, Director of the Royal Endurance Team, Dr. Tariq Ali Al Amin, the Assistant Director of the Royal Endurance Team, Jafar Hassan Mirza Abdul Nabi, Salman Isa Salman Radi, Uthman Abdul Jalil Al Awadi, Hamad Isa Al Janahi, Sarhan Hamid Dakhil Al Anzi, Sami Ibrahim Al Haddad. Dr. Samir Ahmed Mohammed Al Gharib, Dr. Faris Dhul Fakkar Nur al Din, Dr. Salman Khalid Ahmed, Dr. Abdul Rahman Mohammed Al Zayed, Mohammed Abdul Hamid Mohammed Hassan Al Hashmi, Abdullah Khiyam Al Ansari, Ahmed Ibrahim Al Daisi, Yahya Jalal Ahmed Abid, Abdullah Ibrahim Faqih, Ibrahim Mohammed Sharida, Hamad Habib Al Majid, Mohammed Ali Al Gallaf, عيسى عبد الرحمن شريدة محمد يحيى آل طوق and أحمد فتحي شاهين For their part, the attendees expressed their honor and pride in meeting His Majesty the King as well as their gratitude for His Majesty's commitment to strengthening communication ties with all Bahraini citizens. They also appreciated His Majesty the King's constant keenness to the interests and issues of citizens and his efforts to secure a decent life for them. They expressed their pride in the leadership of His Majesty the King, the comprehensive development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and the significant uh, progress made during His Majesty's Majesty the King's prosperous era and the march of modern development. 
The attendees pray to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and grant him health and happiness and the kingdom's further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, attaches great importance to national talents in various fields, especially sports. His Majesty's belief in the importance of youth and their role in building the future was the impetus for providing an incubating environment for creativity and excellence and providing the necessary support for distinguished and talented people to realize their ambitions and aspirations. Today we have a very uh, successful achievement with His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the awarding for today under the partnership of His Majesty is uh, mean a, a lot for us as a sports and athletes in Bahrain. Uh, the tendency of uh, Crown Prince in France and Mombazir and support his brother Sheikh Nasser mean a lot and this is that our leadership they are doing a lot of support for the sport in Bahrain. We're looking for the, another achievement, hopefully, uh, in the future with other sports. Paying attention to local and international excellence in various fields is an investment in the future of the kingdom and has made the kingdom occupy advanced positions and podiums regionally and internationally with its continuous achievements. Uh, today is a, is a historic day that is uh, registered in, in, in the history of, bah of our kingdom, uh, of Bahrain and f in, in, in the world of being the first um, endurance uh, rider to get two times uh, the world championship that has never been done before. Um, in our role as medical, we were there to monitor the health and well-being for His Highness and for all the team as well. And uh, to us, this is not just uh, um, a duty, it's also a lesson in commitment and a lesson on how to achieve and how to be the best in the world. So we are very proud uh, for having such character and leader in our country. And, uh, and I hope this will be a start for future leaders and future uh, athletes to come in his, in his role. Celebrating historical and sporting achievements that are the pride of every Bahraini citizen contributes to creating a competitive spirit between different fields and as an inspiring incentive to achieve more regional and international achievements. Today is a special day, uh, greeting and shaking His Majesty uh, hands for the achievements that we have achieved in France, World Championship for the second time. It's a big responsibility that uh, we have now to achieve more and more for our Kingdom of Bahrain. The royal patronage and unlimited support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa resulted in a great historical victory recorded by the Royal Endurance Team in the recent World Endurance Championship in France and enhanced the kingdom's name at the global sports map. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the Trust Board meeting at Rifa Palace. His Highness emphasized the unwavering support the education sector receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, recognizing its importance as a cornerstone for comprehensive development. His Highness noting the importance of enhancing education by introducing new programs and initiatives that enhance academic performance and equip students with the skills and knowledge required to remain the first choice of employment in the labor market. During the meeting, the approved scholarship plan for the for the trust 11th intake for the 2024 to 2025 academic year was reviewed. This plan covered a number of public and private universities in Bahrain. A total of 83 scholarships for bachelor's degree have been allocated to students this year. The initiatives of the uh, Trust's commitment were also discussed, focusing on expanding its role in creating new opportunities for higher education. These initiatives aim to support the Trust's mission, expand its programs, improve educational outcomes, and promote sustainability in the kingdom. His Highness congratulated all the students who were awarded the scholarships, wishing them continued success. His Highness also thanked all institutions supporting the trust efforts and contributing to the continuous enhancement of the scholarship plan year after year. 
This support helps fulfill students' ambitions, aspirations, and ensure the sustainability of the educational process. His Highness emphasized that providing quality educational opportunities for Bahraini students remains a top priority. Noting that empowering students and developing their skills is a continuous process that opens new horizons for knowledge acquisition. The total number of students who have received scholarships from the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust since its establishment has exceeded 500 students. The envoy of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered his condolences to His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, following the passing of the late Sheikh Jabir Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah. This came during His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait's reception of the advisor to His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa and the accompanying delegation who conveyed the condolences of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait and their Highnesses and Sheikhs and Highnesses the Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah and the Al Sabah family. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the graduation ceremony of the 2024 batch of Chartered Financial Analysts CFA certificate holders. The Minister highlighted the importance of qualified national cadres in attracting investment in the financial sector and emphasized that Bahrain is keen to prepare digital infrastructure and support financial technology based on creativity and innovation. He added that the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is committed to creating more opportunities that enhance the scientific and practical skills of national cadres, particularly the financial and economic fields. During the ceremony, the minister honored the graduates and presented them with graduation certificates, congratulating them on their academic achievement and wishing them continued success. He highlighted the role of specialized professional financial institutions in building capacities and acquiring basic knowledge and skills for cadres working in the financial and banking field, contributing to Bahrain's position as a leading financial center for comprehensive and sustainable economic growth. The CBB Governor Khalid Ibrahim Hamidan praised the Bahrain Investment Professional Society for doubling the number of holders of the CFA certificate. He emphasized the importance of these efforts in developing investment standards and enhancing the investment environment of Bahrain. The chairperson of the Board of Directors of the National Bank of Bahrain, Hala Yatim, expressed her pride in supporting these initiatives aiming to enhance national competencies and professionalism in the financial sector. Upon the directives of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa SCW member, Dr. Fatima Mohammed Liblushi, participated in the fourth Eurasian Women's Forum 2024, which is held in the Russian city of St. Petersburg. In her speech before the plenary session of the forum, which is held this year under the title Women for Strengthening Trust in Global Cooperation, Dr. Leblushi stressed the new stage and the march of Bahraini women since the start of the comprehensive development project of His Majesty the King that strengthened women's role. She also noted the pioneering role of the SCW under the presidency of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika that shaped the general policy of women's participation in accordance to methods adopted by the National Strategy for the Advancement of Bahraini Women. Meanwhile, Dr. Leblushi also highlighted the importance of loading, of launching an award for the progress of Bahraini women under the name of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika as one of the initiatives that aim to achieve equal opportunities and gender balance in the public private sectors and civil society institutions to be adopted on the international level by the United Nations. I'm here to speak about a topic that is dear to my heart and to my nation, the remarkable advancement of Bahraini women 
and the strides we have taken toward gender equality and empowerment. In Bahrain, women have always been the core of our society. They have contributed immensely to the economy, to the economic, social, cultural fabric of our nation. Over the years, we have witnessed a significant transformation where women have moved from being active contributors to becoming leaders in various sectors. At the forefront of this transformation is the Supreme Council for Women, established in 2001 under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. And in 2005, the Council launched the first national strategy for the advancement of Bahraini women. Its mission was clear, to ensure that women are not only empowered, but also given equal opportunities. The Council has played a, a pivotal role in advocating for these changes by ensuring that gender-sensitive legislation is implemented and that women's rights are protected and promoted at every level. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop 500 services and 24 government authorities, the Director General of the Traffic, Brigadier Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa, asserted the continuation of providing services according to the highest quality standards. He highlighted that according to the Ministerial Committee for Information and Communications Technology follow-up, led by the Minister of Interior, the General Directorate of Traffic has developed 15 e-services in cooperation with the Information and e-Government Authority. He said that the digitalization of the services reached 100%. He highlighted that work continues to develop the quality of traffic services to contribute to facilitating procedures adding that the development was based on users' views and proposals. The Director General added that these services are part of the electronic transformation of traffic services and providing excellent services to individuals, government sectors and the businesses sector. The Kingdom of Bahrain possesses an advanced educational and digital infrastructure that contributed to supporting the development of skills and talents and the establishment of technology and innovation centers of excellence to support Bahraini skills in this field. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to position itself as a global investment hub thanks to its young, highly skilled and multilingual workforce. Bahrain seeks to capitalize on its diversified economy and its commitment to fostering innovation through initiatives such as technology centers, talent development, digital infrastructure, and a supportive business environment, as evidenced by the Kingdom's high ranking in the NCL Global Talent Competitiveness Index 2023, issued in collaboration with the Dakar Institute and the Human Capital Leadership Institute, where Bahrain ranked fifth globally in the Digital Skills Sub-Index. The Kingdom of Bahrain is positioning itself as a center for innovation and growth by encouraging the use of new and emerging technologies and building relevant skills in the public and private sectors with a focus on continuous talent development and retention, leveraging the potential of cloud and big data to encourage economic growth in the Kingdom, promoting innovation through international partnerships, attracting talents from around the world, and providing assistance to educational institutions and companies to develop and adopt innovative solutions and new and emerging technologies. The development of Bahraini skills is an important priority that is continuously and generously supported in the Kingdom of Bahrain, and as a result of that, Bahraini skills have become a destination for international investors who seek a destination with the availability of an efficient labor force. The Shura Council's second deputy chairman, Dr. Jihad Abdullah Al Fadl, affirmed the council's participation in the fourth Eurasian Women's Forum in Russia following His Majesty the King's official visit to Russia in May. Dr. Al Fadl emphasized the Shura Council's interest in participating in the crucial parliamentary forum organized by the Federation Council of the Federal Assembly of Russia and the Parliamentary Assembly of the Commonwealth of Independent States, highlighting the Council's commitment to implementing the aspirations of His Majesty the King. 
Dr. Al Fadl emphasized the importance of parliamentary diplomacy in promoting democracy and supporting Bahrain's foreign policies. The forum covered four main topics multipolar world and diplomacy, future economy and new technology, tradition and cultural diversity, environmental protection, health, and societal well being. The Omani Art Society in Masqat opened the third edition of the Omani Bahraini Fine Arts Exhibition organized by the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Youth in cooperation with the Omani Bahraini Friendship Association and the Embassy of Bahrain in Oman. This artistic event aims to strengthen bilateral relations and consolidate the concept of cultural exchange between the two brotherly countries with a variety of artworks as Omani artists presented creativity and sculptures using various materials such as wood, marble and iron, while the participation of Bahraini artists was distinguished by paintings and photography. Ambassador of Bahrain to Oman, Dr. Jum'a bin Ahmed Al Kabi, indicated that the exhibition has become an annual cultural event and an added value to the culture and history of the two brotherly countries, as it reflects the extent of the deep rooted historical Omani Bahraini relations. The chairman of the Presidential Leadership Council of Yemen, Dr. Rashad Mohamed Lalemi, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Al Assoumi. The chairman praised the wise policy of His Majesty the King, which constitutes a fundamental pillar in supporting and strengthening joint Arab action. He praised His Majesty's position in support of Yemeni legitimacy at all levels and His Majesty's support for efforts to resolve the Yemeni crisis, praising His Majesty's wise management of the Arab summit hosted by Bahrain and the decisions that resulted from it in support of Arab issues and interests of the Arab people. He stressed uh, that His Majesty's wise uh, policy contributes to enhancing security and stability in the region and defending Arab issues. Lalemi also praised uh, the positions of the government of Bahrain headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the legitimate authority in Yemen. And before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at the latest business news in the following report. The Telecommunication Union's Digital Skills Forum is one of the most important global events in the telecommunications sector. This prestigious event aims to bridge digital skills gaps around the world featuring in-person and remote sessions in addition to panel discussions on developing skills for digital transformation. I think for digital skills is really important for driving digital growth. Our world is increasingly going digital. People need to be able to participate in a new society. Society is digital. For everything we do now, whether it's AI or new technologies, people, it's going to add to our GDP. It's going to add to growth. So as people, there's new jobs and new work and new everything, everything's online. It's like yourselves, television is now digital. Everything we do is digital, so people need to have the skills to participate in society. This conference here enables us to learn from others, enables us to help others, enables us to develop. Bahrain is already one of the most advanced digital societies in the world. Our telecommunications infrastructure is one of the best in the world, but we even do more. We need to continue to grow. And that means not just building infrastructure, but helping our people learn, helping people do new things, but importantly, keeping them safe when they're online as well. Making sure that when people go online, they feel comfortable. They feel they want to participate. They don't feel like it's the Wild West. So for me, it's important to do this and to drive society and to drive the economy. The forum brings together industry leaders, experts, policymakers, and training providers from around the world to participate in panel discussions covering topics including digital transformation, industry perspectives on skills gaps, bridging the digital divide, and national digital skills frameworks for policymakers. Also announced during the forum is the Capacity Development for Digital Transformation Initiative, which is a tripartite partnership between the International Telecommunication Union, the United Nations Development Programme and the European Union, which aims to promote digital literacy and create a digitally competent society so that the world continues to equip individuals with the skills to succeed and thrive in the digital era. <laughs>